YouTube. This is probably the last Rikers game of the year. And for the last game, uh, this guy did pick the Chiefs. So I'm going to pick the Texans, not exactly Lamar Jackson or the San Francisco Niners. But I said, let me use the Texans. I'm going to use them. They're probably one of the top five teams. That's great. Now, this is probably the last week of Madden 20. Obviously, the new game is coming out this week. I'm not sure exactly when it comes out. People continue to ask me, when can we play? When can this? I don't really know. You know, so make sure you guys hit all those bells and whistles, all those notifications when they're live on Twitch, when I'm live on putting videos up, when I'm tweeting things out on my social medias, man. It is going to be lit this week. I believe Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, one of those days, Madden 21 will be out. And I'm super excited because I've been putting in tons of energy towards the end of Madden 20. And I hope that's going to continue over into Madden 21, man. So I appreciate all you guys checking out these videos. If you like the Rags gameplay, please hit the like button. If you want to see this early in Madden 21, I know we're all super anxious to open our packs and everything. I want to do some more videos about that going forward before the game comes out. But if you want to see more Rags action, you want to see some more money games, you want to see these Players Lounge matches, man, let me know in the comments below. Also, man, if you want to sign up for Players Lounge, the best time for play for money and learn the game is right away. Nobody really knows what's really good in the game. There's no meta. There's no overpowered things like stretch and dive. People don't know that right away. So if you want to play, make sure you sign up on that link for Players Lounge below, man. It is a great way to get yourself more experience in high-level Madden gameplay, man. And if you're not that high level, that's fine. You don't have to. I'm not encouraging you guys but a lot of who i talk to are people that want to get better at the game and if you want to get better like i said before players lounge is a great place to do that so let's go ahead get into this game now patrick mahomes was a pain in the ass to guard and uh after this game i actually said let's play another game without escape artists uh because the outcome of this game eh, i wasn't too happy about the way i was able to play defense and this guy actually played said let's play draft champions for the $20 so I said okay so if you want to see that draft champions game after this man get this video to 400 likes and I will drop that one next but let's get into this game like I told you guys I picked the Texans probably not my first choice in team uh, probably I would probably say the fourth best team in the game um, I think they match up pretty well or, or offensively they're great because they have Will Fuller who's 95 speed they have DeAndre Hopkins um, they have Lamar Miller in the backfield, and they have Deshaun Watson, who's so outside of Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, and then Russell Wilson, I would assume uh, Deshaun Watson is the next best quarterback, has that escape artist. They have J.J. Watt, have everything, a little bit thrown under pressure right there. Now, I'll be honest, the Chiefs, I, I think, uh, for passing-wise, as I get an early fourth down, the Chiefs are the best team because they have 99 and 97 speed wide receivers with the best quarterback in the game. So they're really tough to guard, and they have this guy, Chris Jones, who's an absolute animal i don't think he's blockable on regs uh it's actually insane when you get one of these d-line abilities uh chris jones is a little bit different as lamar miller almost takes that run to the baja get down to the 15 yard line the one thing about regs man these games fly that's the end of the first quarter already four minute quarters 40 second play clock is not that much uh so it was, clock management is just matters so much more as we get to a fourth down right here Kick a field goal early in the game. That's all right, man. It, it sucks not getting seven. But like I said, possessions matter so much. As you see, we're already at three minutes left in the half. Hopefully, I can stop him. Now, this guy ran a lot of eye close. And if you guys know, trying to guard this with Tyree Kill, Hardman, and Travis Kelsey with Patrick Mahomes is just really tough. As he goes, there's his crossing route. Catches that with Hardman. Uh, a little rough to give up that catch right there. But got to stay in, stay in the driver's seat. We stopped the run pretty good. That's number one, man. You can't let somebody run on you. Next, we got to stop this play. It has a tight end corner route, a crossing route, and Tyreek Hill on the deep post. Uh, probably one of the best plays in the game. Um, so it's really tough to stop that. As you see, Mahomes again scrambling all over the place, actually getting the ball away, getting delayed, getting a intentional grounding there, which is rare in Madden. But we force him a punt fourth and 31 we're gonna punt first drive so that's why you take your three man build up possessions build up points in the first half of a game that's what's it about uh there's a little man coverage right here we get boxed chris jones gets me again he's just an absolute demon if you watch chris jones go through these double teams just dominate now say i'm gonna try to take some time so he doesn't have any time with tyree kill we get a third and 17 we're probably not going to get this right here as we force it in route pick to Lucas, got to make a tackle, can't let him score on defense. That's one of the biggest things in the game. Uh, force that right there, especially. I just got to check down, make him use his last time out there, and we'll be doing a lot better. Um, right here, we actually make the tackle inbounds on Williams. 
keep that clock running. He's running out of time. Uh, nowhere really to go. He's going to dump down to this drag right here to Tyreek Hill. Really tough to guard. Hill, Kelsey, and Hardman, they're a great uh, trio along with Mahomes. Mahomes just, just makes them that much tougher. Running out of time right here. He's going to force a pass. I need that interception. And, of course, he has one second left on the clock, able to kick a field goal. So that's, that's the frustrating part. Not only do we not get the pick, he's still... But by the you know by the luck of the draw, ends up with one extra second to kick that field goal. But it's three three halftime. We're feeling all right. Uh, just got to keep working the ball to Will Fuller. Keep working the ball to DeAndre Hopkins. Mixing that Lamar Miller inside zone. Could even pop a read option with Deshaun Watson. But we got to play defense first. And there he is, Kelsey, who just signed a contract this week. Him and Kittle both signed huge contracts. Uh, probably the two best tight ends in the game. Me myself, you know, I'm going to take Zach Ertz, but. Kittle, obviously, if not the best, the second best tight end in the game. Kills me again right there on the corner route. So he's back in field goal range, looking to go somewhere with the football. Same play again. Rolls out corner or post route. Kelsey, uh, really tough to guard. The one thing about regs, man, and, and you guys tell me it's so balanced, but I feel like there's nobody that can catch catch uh, Patrick Mahomes. I feel like Patrick Mahomes is just faster than everybody in the front sevens. Um, and that's one thing on Mutt that's just not the case. The quarterbacks, although ridiculous, whether it be Vic or Lamar, they're not outrunning front seven guys as we actually finally get a sack, finally get the Patrick Mahomes and force a field goal right there. So tell me what you guys think. I mean, it's easy to say it's it's more balanced, but I, I, I almost tend to want to think the opposite in that players like Mahomes and Tyree Kill are super OP in this mode. Whereas in, in Mutt, they have, I don't want to say more balance, but there's more players that can counteract that speed or that athleticism. Whereas in, in Rags, not so much, man. You are, when they tell you this X Factor makes you a superstar, it really does, especially on Rags. Uh, here we get sacked right there by Frank Clark. That's a contain. I felt like my pocket wasn't bad. The contain just got around the tackle. Um, we get to a second and let hit this in route right here. That's Will Fuller. Uh, the combination, Will Fuller, Kenny Stills, DeAndre Hopkins, and I believe I use Cootie? Cootie? I, I, that guy. Right there, we get sacked again. Under a lot of pressure. I don't know who is on the Texans offensive line. I believe they made that trade to get uh, Laramie Tunsil. So I think he plays left tackle. But other than that, I mean, I don't know any of these guys. Once again, boom, we hit that cross around. You've seen me do that a lot. Really tough to guard Will Fuller and DeAndre Hopkins on this play. Uh, have, have that good pocket. Hit that beautiful curl route right there. One of the biggest plays of the game to get to the 12-yard line uh, to get inside the two. Next play, fullback dive, touchdown, boom. And we pretty much took in the whole second half away. We are under two minutes for him to go down and get a touchdown. So I feel good about that. Although he has 99 speed, 97 speed, Patrick Mahomes, Kelsey, Keep him in front of me, and he's going to run out of time. That's my goal right here. Just keep him in front of me. He's going to run out of time. Goals where they run the first play, that's going to automatically take 20 seconds off the clock. So I'm okay with that. Just got to keep him in front. He goes for the Baja right here. My man Gibson just can't come up with a pick right there. That's what I mean. Sean Taylor is coming up with a pick when you throw a terrible pass like that. Rolls out this way. Throws it back over the middle. Tyreek Hill gets loose. But we make sure we swarm and make the tackle. Keep him in front. That's our goal right now because the time will run out in regs. The time will run out in all men, which is I wish would happen in Mutt. It would be make it so much better as he hits this wheel route rolling out right here. But we get him in bounds. 47 seconds left. He calls timeout. Next play once again running around and we sack him in the backfield. Make him lose his last timeout. There it is, second and 19. He has no timeouts left. 40 seconds were on him. And he's getting away from my guys and throws off the back foot. First down, Sammy Watkins spikes the ball. Oh, ridiculous play by Patrick Mahomes right there. He's really tough. And we get him right here, second and 10. Uh, we're just going to play save cover two, get that little blitz off the left side, make him block that somehow, either with his running back or with a motion wide receiver, and that's what he does. He only has two receivers on the route, throws the backside in route, we tackle him at the one-yard line, and the clock's going to run out. GG's. I kept them in front of me all the way to the one-yard line. GG's in chat. Like I said, after this game, we rematched on draft champions. No abilities, straight football straight john madden football so if you want to see that video make sure we get this one to 400 likes we have about four days left of madden 20 let's make the most of it